I think the biggest culture shock moment was um, being called the American, um, <laughs> which was really offensive to me, especially in a time frame where in a post 9-11 world, growing up as an Arab Muslim in the US, I felt exceptionally marginalized and I felt anything but included in this imagination of what an American is. And then I go 6,000 miles to Lebanon and then on that same trip um, I go out to my mother's city of Latakia in Syria and I'm constantly referred to by my family and my extended family as the American. So my Arabic is not good enough, my Arabic has an accent. And uh, the other culture shock, which was hilarious on that same trip, is that um, at the time I didn't eat red meat, I still don't eat red meat, but um, uh, we had, and this, this circulated, so if you tell anybody that you're in, a vegetarian in the Middle East, it is quite the experience. So um, we were getting these meals sent to our little chalet on the beach in this seaside town called Latakia. And um, they brought in what is called, um, they brought in mehshi. And mehshi is like, can be cabbage or eggplant stuffed with rice, and frequently it's stuffed with meat. And um, they served it to me and they said, hey, here's lunch. And I was like, um, I can't eat that. And they said, well, it's a vegetable. And I said, I know, but it has red meat in it. And they said, no, 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 you don't know. This is what we make here. And I said, I know we have Syrian food every single day in my household. I know that it has red meat. And then their counter was, yeah, but just a little. So why don't you eat it? Um, so that's always a bit of a challenge when you go back home is to deal with the vegetarian issue.